everyone, this is Kyle from WeTech Care Review, and today I'm going to show you how you can show and hide something in Microsoft Power Apps, um, depending on the logged in user and what security group they're in, so a Microsoft 365 group. Um, and what I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to make this button show or hide, depending if I'm a member of this group, so we'll just get straight into it. So, first, what we want to do is again, you can do this on any of your controls. So you want to come to the visibility of it because I'm going to make this show or hide if I'm a member of that group. Um, and what we want to do is we want to do an if statement, count rows, filter. And now first what we want to do is we want to add Office 365 groups as a data source. So this one here so we'll add the group so now I'm going to filter on my group and we're going to do the list group members and then what we need is we need the ID of the group so if you go to that group and you select the group and what it shows up here in the browser is the ID of that selected group so it's be just this one before the, um, the bracket. So I'm just going to take that, put that here, in double quotes. Close the brackets, dot value. And then I'm going to put mail equals user dot mail so this will get the the email address of the current logged in user who's running the app they close our brackets now basically yes yeah, so if we if that filter returns any other value than zero so it can show that that member is a part of the group then we want to do true for the visibility else we want to do false and i'll just close that bracket okay perfect so it looks like it's just worked because i am a member of that group so i just seen it went off and came back on so if i just check this now so yeah i'm a member of that group so that's working now if i just save this and i'll remove myself from the group Okay, so I'm not on the group anymore. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to save and publish this so I don't lose that code. Um, and yeah, let me just refresh the screen. And then hopefully, because we've seen that that was shown for me, now that I'm not a member of the group, that should just be hidden straight away. And there you can see that button is now hidden because I'm, I'm not a member of that group. Uh, I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped. If you're looking to do other stuff with Power Apps, and um, we've also got building an invoice generator which is pretty good a pretty good app that we built so i'll put a link up to that here and um, but yeah thanks for watching please like and subscribe to the channel take care thank you